Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today we are going to be doing the last cash stuffing of June. Today we're going to be stuffing a total of $925, $725 of which will be actual cash. I do have a couple of placeholders for today. And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give y'all an update. Our dog is doing great. Um, she had her surgery last week and is uh, on the road to recovery. Um, really, a lot of her recovery is just trying to keep her still, which for a two-year-old Rottweiler is difficult. Um, <laughs> but she's doing really well. She has bounced back pretty quickly so far, um, so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone um, that reached out about her, and I wanted to give y'all a little update on that. Um, if it's your first time on this channel, welcome. I'm super glad that you're here. I'm hoping that there is something in these videos that can help you with your own cash envelope journey. And if you are not new here, I appreciate you coming back. I love you guys. I... Uh, um, just appreciate everyone that has stuck around in the little community that we are forming. So we're going to go ahead and get the cash set up for today. So like I said, we've got $200 in placeholders, 100 so that's 300 350 370 390 410 3, 4, 30 50 70 90 510 30 50, 70, 90, 610, 30, 50, 70, 90, 710, 730. Is it any other like cash stuffers nightmare to count when there's just like a single 50? It completely throws me off every time. So 730 is I think where we were. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 860, 870, 880, 890, 900, 910, 920, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I can't believe we did that. Can't believe it. Not only did I remember things, but I counted with a singular 50. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, that like it always, uh, it just always messes me up. But let's go ahead and get into this because we are stuffing quite a bit today. We're going to start in our everyday binder. And for groceries, we're going to be stuffing $50. So $20, $40, $50. That is all that it has because, like I talked about in my stuffing for last week, I did go ahead and order some smoothies. Just like some quick breakfasts so that way I was eating something healthy for me and it was quick, um, especially when I'm kind of going through just a tough time. Having something quick that is still healthy um, is just a good option for me. I actually have, I have one of them um, this morning and it's a mint and cacao smoothie. It tastes like, if you like mint chocolate chip ice cream, that's literally what it tastes like. So... I will be sipping on that throughout the video. They're very good. Um, I've tried a couple of different um, smoothie like companies. This one is Daily Harvest, which I think is pretty popular. Um, and then the other one I did was uh, Revive Superfoods, I think. Um, and I believe that they're based in Canada because I think I had to pay a little extra shipping on that one just because I'm pretty positive they're Canadian based. Um, but everything that I've tried so far is really good. I'll leave links for both of them um, down below. And uh, if you wanna check them out, you know, it's a, it's a really nice way to like have something healthy and uh, you know, ready to go, whether you're not feeling great or having, you know, a really busy time or anything like that. Alright, so moving on to the next one. Dining out is going to be getting $10, and that is all that it has. Spending is getting $20.
Pets is getting a total of $110, 10 of which will be going towards pet food, pet supplies, things like that. $100 going towards the neck surgery that our dog is going to have. So she's going to, she basically had two ACL surgeries. Well, she's had one. And then her second one is in about a month. Um, so uh, luckily we were able to uh, pay for the first one out of savings. Um, so I just want to be putting away some money for her second one. So that way we can be as prepared as possible. And uh, so one of those is going to be one of our placeholders. And then the $10 for like the dog food, if that makes sense. So for like pet supplies, pet food, pet treats, things like that, we have ten fifteen, and then <clears throat> the hundred dollar placeholder. I'm just gonna kind of put that in the back so I know that it's separate, um, and that I have already transferred into my high yield savings account because I'm gonna let it sit there for as long as possible, especially with how. Some of those accounts are right now. They're just giving a ridiculous amount of money in interest. Um, good interest, which I know a lot of us in the cash stuffing community don't really see. We're always talking about bad interest on our credit cards and things like that. But those high yield savings accounts, I'm telling you, if you don't have one already, you need one. Um, I use Ally. I'll see if there's some kind of um, link or something. Otherwise, I'll just leave the link for like the regular website um, in the description box too. Self-care is going to be getting $5. And that is all that we have for this envelope or this binder. And since I'm getting all of that straight, I do want to go ahead and do my coins from my everyday wallet. All right, so we're up to almost $75. So about halfway still on that one. And then I do have my receipts that I'm going to scan into Fetch and Receipt Hog. I talk about them almost every cash stuffing video that I do, but they're really good. If you haven't heard of them already, I know a lot of people have heard of Fetch. You just take a picture of the receipt and you get points where you can get gift cards. And then Receipt Hog, I don't feel like a lot of people have heard of. You, it's the same thing. You take a picture of the receipt and you end up getting coins. And then those coins you can actually transfer in for like a PayPal cash out. Um, so you can cash out, you know, right back to your bank account, which I think is really nice. And neither one of those things like require you to buy certain things. It's just on things that you're buying and getting a receipt for anyway. So they're nice. Um, both of those links are always down below too. Um, for our sinking funds binder. Let's see. Date night is going to get $10. So it has 10, 25, and 30. Baby fund is going to be getting $20. So we are finally on, um, we are finally back to building this fund back up. Um, and, uh, we will use it for our next baby whenever we are able to get pregnant again. So we have 10, 25. And then in health is getting $10. So it has 10, 15, 20. Vacation is going to be getting $15. So it has a total of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which is good because I know that this will be coming out this week to pay for my portion of the beach vacation that I'm going to be taking in July. Let's see, Christmas is going to be getting $24. So it has 
So we're going to be working on two of the tracker circles. All right, so a total of 100, 200 in the high yield savings account, 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 176, we'll go ahead and get that back in there. Take care of these two. I think after this line, it's technically halfway through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, so once we finish this line that we're actively working on, then we will be halfway through this tracker, which is pretty exciting. All right. So gifts is going to be getting skipped. Tattoo, we're going to stuff for the first time, which I'm pretty stoked about. It's going to get $10. Um, I'm not really, I don't have a specific tattoo in mind. Um, I have been thinking about getting um, our baby's name that we just lost tattooed somewhere. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that yet. And since we are still actively trying to conceive um i will probably put that off until after we are able to have a baby um and that way it'll give this a little bit of time to get built up and then debt is going to be getting a hundred dollars so this is specifically for my debt snowball so any extra funds that I have that I'm not stuffing somewhere else. Um, I just put into here and then whenever the payment is due on the credit card that I'm working on at the moment, I will take out whatever is in here and add it to that like minimum payment. That is all in here. Next, we're gonna do the business binder. And car maintenance is going to be getting 20 and that's all that it has. Gas is going to be getting 50, and that is all that it has. Let's see, growth. So this is a new envelope that's getting stuffed, which I'm pretty excited about. I put it in between my full-time like self-employed income and like my YouTube and, and things like that, just because it's gonna be like a growth all around. Um, envelope so uh, I'll stuff it and then if I need to grow in whichever business I will use it towards that if that makes sense so we're gonna be doing five dollars here I love uh, stuffing an envelope for the first time like a new envelope that you get I don't know what it is feels good and then YouTube is going to be getting five dollars uh, I've been thinking about it more and more I do think that I want to do, even if it is just like a small giveaway at 500 subscribers, um, and then do like a bigger one at a thousand, but that's what I'm thinking for now. We will see. So YouTube has 10 and 15. I just, I don't know. I want a way to like show how appreciative I am of people that have decided to tag along on this journey, and especially those that have been so supportive through everything that has happened the past couple of months. Um, so uh, definitely working on that so that way I can do something nice for y'all. And then that's it here. Next we will do our homestead binder. And bulk shopping is getting 10. Household is getting five. So it has 10, 15, feed is getting five, it has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, which is good because 
Um, I actually kind of forgot. I knew that they were coming, but I just forgot the date. And uh, we actually have turkeys coming this week, um, which is really exciting, but I need to go buy feed for them. Um, so I'm glad that we have that in there. I will, um, if you guys want to see it, I don't know. I know that this is mostly just like a budgeting channel, um, but especially like on my Instagram and everything, um, I can do like a little video. The little like chicks are just, they're so cute. They're so cute. So, um, We'll definitely be getting into that this week. Garden is going to be getting skipped. Home maintenance is going to be getting $5. So it has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then electric is getting 20. And that is all that it has because we just paid that bill for June. All right, next we'll be getting into our savings binder. And let's see. We will be stuffing $350 into month ahead. Um, this is something that I'm building back up because I did remove some of this for our dog surgery. So I'm just trying to build it back up as much as I possibly can. Um, because I was going to finish it off in June, but now it looks like I think I could probably make it to finish it off and it'll be completed. I'm hoping by like August. So I'm hoping it only pushed me back like two months. So we're going to be stuffing $350. A hundred of which is going to be a placeholder. And then uh, the hundred, the fifty, and five twenties. One, two, three, four, five to round that out. So in month ahead, we now have one thousand, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, six fifty, six seventy. 690, 710, 730, 750, 790, 810. I don't think that that's right. I'm going to remove the 50 because my brain doesn't want to work. So 1,100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My brain is not quite on yet this morning. 1,001, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. So that's 750. And uh, this 50 makes 800. I'm really sorry that that was probably not satisfying, not one little bit. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had an accurate count on it. So we have 1,800 in there. The goal for the month ahead fund is uh, 2,500. So a little bit in each for July and August and hopefully it'll be completed. Um, mat leave is going to be skipped. Black Friday is going to get $16. I did go ahead and take care of the dots for those. So Black Friday now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 96. And then that's it for this one. And then the $400 savings challenge that I'm doing for, this is just for like an extra de debt payment. It's just a way to kind of make it fun is going to be getting $50. And I believe I've already colored this one in as well. Just to save a little time. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 91. So almost a quarter of the way there, which is exciting. Let's see, and I just wanna make sure, yes, that's a 50, so. I did, did go ahead and do that. I'm just going to make some of these a little bit more opaque. All right. So that is it for today's cash stuffing. If you have stuck all the way to the end, I super, super appreciate you. And I do hope that you will give this video a like. And feel free to 
leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and I will see you guys later this week. Bye, y'all.